when you know the sounds of the letters, you can join them together to make simple words. So pan, p, a, n, pan, p, a, n, pan, top, t, o, p, top, t, o, p, top. Bin. So it can be confusing because there's three letters, p, a, n, but one sound, pan. So pan is one syllable. So let me show you syllables. My name's Jose. Jose, one. And Nargis, Nargis, two. And how many syllables is in your name? Your teacher can help you work it out. So these words have one syllable and three letters. And you can learn to listen to work out what the letters are. So cup, k, a, p, cup, k, a, p. Mm -hmm. You can also read the letters and put them together to make the word. So we've got p, a, n, pan, t, o, p, top, k, a, p, cup, b, i, n, bin. You can practice learning the sounds of the letters in your workbook. The letters in red are the ones to think about the sounds and you can use your picture sheet to help you work out what the sounds say. So learning English is like planting a seed. At first when you put the seed in the ground it looks like nothing's happening and you don't know if it's going to grow. You have to be patient and you have to believe. After some time the seed's growing roots but it's still invisible and then you get a little first shoot and then a stem and then in the end a beautiful flower and leaves. Learning English is like that. At first you won't see the progress you're making, but if you're patient and you keep working hard, in the end all your hard work will mean you have that beautiful flower and your English suddenly you'll be able to understand things and speak and read and write. So it's worth keeping going. <laughs>